<sighs> Today sure was an interesting day. I can't believe Alex thinks I don't trust her. Like, I kinda do, but the necklace is glowing whenever she's hanging out around Drake. <sighs> I can't believe Alex doesn't think I trust her. She really seemed upset about me trying to find the person who made her necklace. It's like, I trust Alex, but I just really want to find out why the necklace is still glowing around Drake. Does she actually love him? Like, I want to trust her, but I just need to know what's really going on. I need to know the truth. What am I gonna do, Mr... Mr. Whiskers? Where did he go? Wait, what? Who's texting me right now? Oh, it's Ace. He says to meet him outside. Wait, what's he doing outside my dorm? Um, okay, Ace, see ya in a second. Wait, what? Another text message? Wait, from Mr. Whiskers? What? Where's Mr. Whiskers at? Where are you? He says he's at Hawaii right now. He's on vacation? Without me? How could he? He says, sorry for not letting you know sooner, Zach. I just really wanted to go on vacation for a bit. Sincerely, Mr. Whiskers. Wow. I guess he's having a good time without me. Meow, meow, meow. What a jerk. I can't believe Mr. Whiskers went on vacation without me. Uh, whatever. You know what? Let's just go see what Ace wants. Uh, Ace? Where, where is he? I don't, I don't see him in here. Wait, Ace, what are you doing behind the plant? Hey, Zach, I'm sorry for sneaking in your dorm, but I just wanted to check up on you and see if you were okay. Yeah, I guess it's fine. But uh, I'm not really doing that well, Ace. By the way, Zach, I know what happened. I kind of overheard you and Alex talking, so I know that she's sad because you don't trust her. Wait, you did? Yeah, but it's not what it looks like. I was just gonna let you know that I think I know how we can find the person who made the necklace. Oh, that's great news actually, Ace. So how do we find the person who made the necklace? So you know how Drake was trying to help us find the person on the light half of the school? Wait, what do you mean by the light half of the school? Well, you know, Zach, there's a dark half and a light half. So on the darker half of school, that's where all the dark fairies usually hang out. Wait, are you saying the person who made me that necklace is a dark fairy? Yeah, pretty much. What if they don't like us? I'm kind of still an angel, you know, even though I'm half dark fairy. Well, you see, the only way I got the necklace was because... Oh my gosh, Ace, you lied to them saying we were dark fairies, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Ace, how could he say that? I didn't even know that was a dark fairy we were buying the necklace from. It's okay, don't worry, Zach. Listen, all we gotta do is just pretend to be dark fairies. How hard can that be? Uh, Ace, are you sure about this? I don't even have any dark fairy clothes or anything. Yeah, no, really, watch. I got some clothes for us. Everything will be just fine. Fine. Uh, okay. Um, Ace, I don't know if these jackets really make us look like dark fairies. They do. Don't worry. But how do they make us look like dark fairies? Check the back of your jacket. Wait, what do you mean check the back of my jacket? Wait, what? The back of my jacket says I'm a dark fairy. Exactly, Zach. That's why they're gonna fall for it, because it'll make you look like an actual dark fairy. What? That doesn't even make any sense. They're not gonna fall for this. Trust me, it's gonna be fine. Just watch. Uh, fine, I'll trust you, Ace, but you better know what we're getting into. So, Zach, looks like we're here. Just remember to pretend to be a dark fairy. Act just like one. This is a really bad idea, but I'll do my best to try being a dark fairy. All right, well, I guess let's do this. Hello? Is... Anyone here? Huh? What are you doing here? Oh, I, uh, just recently moved to this school. <laughs> yeah, wh what he said. We just recently transferred schools. Huh? The teacher never said anything about a new student coming into our school. And what's with the hairstyle? Are you sure you guys are dark fairies? Oh, the teacher didn't say anything yet? <laughs> That's funny, she said she would soon. And about my hair, it's just, uh, like this to fool angels. I'm really a dark fairy. Hmm, this is really suspicious. You know what? Prove that you're a dark fairy. We just gotta make sure that there's no angels sneaking into our side of the school. That happened a few weeks ago. I think his name was Ace or something like that. You mean Ace has snuck over here before? So that's how I got the necklace from a dark fairy. It all makes sense now. But how am I gonna fool these guys into thinking I'm a dark fairy? Oh, wait a minute. That's right. The back of my jacket. Okay, you know what? You guys want proof? I got proof. Look at the back of my jacket. The back of your jacket says, I'm a dark fairy. Oh no. What what if he doesn't fall for this? Maybe this was a bad idea. Eh, all right, well, I guess that's enough to convince me. Welcome new dark fairies to the part of our school. Wait, what? He fell for it that fast? 
You know what, whatever. I guess that works. Yeah, thanks. It's great to be a dark fairy. Wait a minute, your jacket. You're part of the Red Vipers? On your first day? How did you get part of our gang already? It took me a whole half a year just to get into this gang. Wait, say what now? Red, Red Vipers? Oh no, this jacket ace made me. It's supposed to represent the gang this guy's in. Now he thinks I'm a part of it. How am I supposed to lie when I don't even know what this whole squad's about? Yeah, you're right. Uh, you're probably wondering how I did get into the Red Vipers so quick. Well, you see, I'm best friends with the leader of the group. And since I was moving to this this school, my friend said I could join the gang he made. What? You're friends with the leader? That's awesome. Wait a minute. What about you? Looks like you're part of the skeleton gang. Wait, what? That's a bit suspicious. How did you get into the skeleton gang? Oh no, what am I gonna do? Maybe it was a bad idea to dress up like dark fairies. I didn't even know these jackets represent gangs. Oh, you know what? I got a good idea. Since Zack lied to them saying he was best friends with the owner of that one gang, I'll just do the same. Oh, you see, uh, I'm actually best friends with the owner of the skeleton gang. <laughs> uh, I'm actually the owner of the skeleton gang, just so you know. Oh, you are? I mean, of course you are. I guess I got tricked by one of your fellow members. What? Why would one of my members give you that jacket? That's confusing. Oh no, we're so gonna get busted. I can't believe we just met up with one of the leaders of these dark fairies. What are we gonna do? Eh, you know what? Don't worry about it. I'm sure there's just some misunderstanding between the gangs. You guys are welcome to stay here though. So, what can we help you with? Oh, phew, I guess these guys actually fell for it. These guys actually think we're dark fairies. That's a relief. So, uh, you see, we're actually here cause we're looking for someone who made a necklace that glows if you're near a person you love. So, do you know who makes those type of necklaces? Oh, actually, I do. I'll write down his room number for you. I heard he only made one of them, though, so that's weird. I was gonna get one for myself. Too bad he's all sold out. Wait, what? He only made one of those necklaces? I thought he made a lot. All right, well, uh, anyways, thanks for the guy's room number. Uh, we'll just be going now. See ya. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the help, guys. All right, see ya, guys. Phew, that was close. Wow, Ace, we actually did it. We got the guy's contact information. Yeah, this is great. Let's go to his place now. Come on. All right, let's go. Hey, Zach, we have a bit of a problem. Wait, what's the problem? It says his house is this way. Wait, what? How are we supposed to get across here? Well, by getting on this swing. What? I'm not gonna do that. That's insane. Well, do you want to find out what's wrong with Alex's necklace or not? Uh, of course I do. Okay, fine. I'll do it. Hey, don't worry, Zach. It's gonna be safe. Uh, I sure hope you're right. Oh, wow. This is safe. You're right. Ah! Oh, maybe it wasn't safe. Ugh, I can't believe I fell off that thing. You said it was safe, Ace. Ugh, I'm sorry. I didn't know it was gonna break like that. Well, you know what? At least I didn't get seriously hurt or anything. So, let's go find the person who made the necklace now. He should be over here, I think. Yeah, his house is right up there. But I should probably stay back since I ripped my jacket off. Ugh, fine, Ace. I'll go there myself. I bet you just ripped off the jacket because you're scared. Wow, I can't believe I'm finally gonna figure out what's wrong with Alex's necklace. Ugh, well, here I am. I just sure hope this necklace is broken or something. And that it's not glowing because Alex actually loves Drake or anything. <sighs> well, time to find out. Huh? Hey, what do you want? Hey, I was wondering if you made a necklace a while ago. You know, the one that glows when you're near someone you love? Uh, yeah, that's me. Why do you want to know? Well, you see, I think the necklace may be broken. What do you mean it's broken? That was a brand new necklace. <laughs> yeah, well, you see, I gave the necklace to my girlfriend, and whenever she hangs around my brother, it glows. Uh-oh. Uh, what do you mean, uh-oh? Well... There shouldn't be anything wrong with that necklace. I made sure of it. Wait, are you sure? Isn't there something that could be broken about it to make it glow? You know, maybe if you're just around someone? Nope, doesn't work like that. It only glows when you're near someone you love. Wait, really? Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, it's fine. Well, I'm gonna get going now. Sorry I couldn't help you much. Have a good day. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. The person who made the necklace is telling me that there's nothing wrong with the necklace. Ugh. This can't be. Oh, hey Zach, how did it go? Ace, it went terrible. The guy who made the necklace says it's not broken. Wait, what? For real? Yeah. Do you think there's any way he could be wrong? Well, he did make the necklace, so 
I assume he knows what he's talking about. Ah, uh, I can't believe it. Does Alex actually love Drake? Ha <laughs> ha. Uh. Wait, what? What's that laughing coming from? Up here, Zach. Wait, what? Drake? Hey, little brother. What's going on? Drake, what are you doing here? Were you spying on us? Spying? No, of course not. I was just wondering why you're wearing that jacket. It's not like you're actually part of the Red Vipers or anything. Are ya? Wait, what? You know about the Red Vipers? Well, of course I do, Zack. I'm a dark fairy, remember? But, you know what I find interesting? The fact that you never told me why that necklace actually glows. Oh no, does Drake actually know why the necklace has been glowing now? I think he was spying on us. What do you mean you know why, Drake? It just glows when you're with best friends and stuff. Ugh, I can't let Drake know about this. I really just hope he didn't actually listen in on that conversation. I'll try my best to fool him really quick. Huh? What are you talking about? Drake. The reason why the uh, necklace glows is because whenever you're hanging out with friends or having fun, it does. Nope, I'm not falling for that anymore, Zach. I know the necklace glows when you're hanging out with someone you love. And that means the reason why Alex's necklace was glowing is because she loves me. Drake knows why the necklace has been glowing. But wait, that jacket. Is he part of the Red Vipers? Wait, Drake? What are you doing with that jacket? Are you part of the Red Vipers? Well, everyone, I have no clue what's going on. Apparently, Drake was spying on me and Ace this whole time, and now he knows why the necklace has been glowing whenever Alex is hanging around him. Well, everyone, I have no clue how Drake found out about the necklace and why it really glows, but I guess he was spying on us this whole time. And also, it's so weird, I can't believe it. He has the same jacket that one dark fairy I met had. Well, yeah, I guess that's the end of of today's episode everyone let me know in the comments down below what you think will happen in the next episode and also subscribe to the channel if you are new join the z squad today for more role plays like this and also remember to drop a like on today's video if you enjoyed it can we get 10,000 likes and i'll make another episode but until next time everyone this is zach signing off i love y'all i'll see y'all tomorrow goodbye